Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to jump right into this. I'm getting ready to do my third test on that cell I brought home from the bilipid membrane up north. Um, so, But I want to read this to begin with before I do the catalase test. Catalase is a common antioxidant enzyme, so it's not alive. With the highest turnover rate, it, it, it's a catalyst. It means it makes things happen just like that. It is present in living tissues. And it is living tissues. Living tissues is where it's present. In living tissues. <laughs> and is a key clinical enzyme involved in the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide into water and molecular oxygen. That's how it gets rid of it in your body. So, or bodies, or living tissues. And so, it's not in sandstone. Okay? So this membrane that's made of a sandstone type material, it's sandstone, it's, it's been tested positive. This is my third time testing. And so... It means it's biological. It means it was it's living tissue at one time. Okay, that's what it means. That's what it's confirming 100%. It's blowing my mind. You know, as I'm learning more and more about uh, catalase, um, it's only present in living tissues. So let's jump into this. Okay, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run through this really quick. This is the the lip, bilipid membrane. Okay, you got the lower level. You got the upper level. Two levels right here. So that this this is this is the two layers. And this is the lipid membrane. I took the cell off this end down here. I harvested one of the cells off and brought it home. Okay. And above up here is interstitium balls. This whole thing's loaded with interstitium above this last lipid layer. This is fatty in here, and this is the top lipid layer. And above this is interstitium. Okay, here's a video I did a few years back of me harvesting the cell off the membrane itself. Okay. Here's what the mem I brought it home that day. Here's what it looks like. It broke it. It's split in half. But that's what the membrane, that cell looks like. Okay. I mean, it's really quite an impressive look when you get it home. And it's sandstone. So how did sandstone form all the, these patterns? All right. So this is what's left because I've been taking pieces off and testing it. This is what's left of that cell off of that bilipid membrane, the lower lipid membrane. Uh, I've broken it open with a hammer. You can see how clean those pieces are right there compared to the outside right here. See? And so that's what I'm going to be testing is the clean areas. That way there's no cross-contamination of, of any chance of any other catalyzed enzyme being wiped off on it or anything, you know, which there, I don't see how there could be, but, you know, anyway. So, uh, catalase enzyme reaction can only happen in living tissue okay so if we which i've already got reaction out of this but i'm testing more of it because it's it's testing positive for catalase so that means it was living tissue do you understand and it's not sand i mean it looks like sandstone and it's silicon dioxide i mean you can see it's it's when i've i've done this before and showed it's sandy uh so it's the silicon dioxide that's you know, it's transition. It used to be a membrane. This is a membrane. And this is what transitioned to. And so, and I know it looks like a rock, right? <laughs> but uh, that we're going to go test it again inside. I'm looking at a microscope for catalase. And we'll, we will get a reaction. So this is was living at one time, living tissue. So um, it confirms that this is biology and this is not geology, okay? That's just the bottom line. So let's go take a look. Okay, before I get started, I want, I want to explain something about membranes and well, the catalase reaction to blood and all that and the size of things and on and on. This whole thing's a, a lipid membrane, so in theory, the whole thing should react because all of it's the membrane. Where like Roger on his channel, he's got some smaller things, you know, like things like this, you know, and um, so he's going he's gonna to be finding uh, membranes and blood and stuff on a smaller scale than what I, I'm, I, I'm finding. Does that make sense? I'll show you what I'm talking about here real quick. But see, geology would never think of testing something like this for catalase because it's, it's not even their, in their mind that it would ever been alive. So no one's, even in the, 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 the academic realm, nobody's ever, ever tested it. You know what I'm saying? Because they wouldn't test it. Why would you? It was, it was never living. So this is all. This is sandstone. I've confirmed that. I'll show you underneath uh, the microscope. This, this is sandstone, and so sandstone cannot <laughs> transition into a living, li living tissue. <laughs> so uh, let's let's get into this. I'm going to show you real quick what I was talking about, though. 
Okay, this might not be a very good picture, <laughs> but I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so what we have here is, say you had uh, something like this that Roger got and it was a heart or something. He's going to be looking, and you're going to see fizzing something like this where you got a membrane, a line like this, that's going to start fizzing. Or if you got an artery or something with blood, it's going to start fizzing, but not the whole thing fizzing. You understand what I'm saying? Everywhere. Well, I'm probably going to... Uh, in fact, I do. I get it fizzing everywhere, or uh, the reaction from the hydrogen peroxide, because this whole thing is a membrane that's not even close to something like this that would be a heart. You understand what I'm saying? So this whole thing is a, is a membrane. So even here where a membrane would react, this whole thing should react because it's a membrane just on a scale that's not small like this. That makes sense now? Okay. And so if you're getting something like this and the whole thing is reacting, a chunk of rock, and the whole thing's reacting with hydrogen peroxide, chances are it came off a bigger carcass of something like this. That makes sense? All right, let's get into the testing. All right, so I got everything set up, we're ready to get started. Here's what I just had out on the pickup uh, tailgate showing you. And this piece is a nice prim, primo clean chunk all inside, nothing contaminated, broken off of here. And I shouldn't get any contamination anyway unless I have living org <laughs> living tissue stuck to the outside, blood and guts, which I, I don't. It's been laying outside for a couple years in the rain. So we're going to test it now, which I'll, I'll get a catalase reaction. Um, I'm just trying to see how much. This is my third time testing. I want a third time because third time is a charm. And uh, confirmation that uh, no mistakes and that uh, that is what it is. So we'll get started here. I'll get this hooked up. Alright, that's our test piece. My wife lately has been going, where's the hydrogen peroxide? I don't know. <laughs> You've been using the hydrogen peroxide on the rocks again? They're not rocks. I'm going to give that just a little bit of time to settle there. What we'll have is we'll have retention on the top. And they'll have stuff flowing around. we got to look through that. So... Hold on just a minute. Okay, let me get the microscope hooked up. Okay, we should be good to go there. Let's see what we get. It may have soaked in now. I may have to <laughs> redo it. I mean, look at that. Look at that reaction already. Look at that. Oh my gosh, man. I'm going to turn the light down a little bit and see if it'll... Where's the light at on this thing? Ah. I just had a good spot, too. Well, you've seen it there. Oh, that doesn't matter. You'll find it here again, too. Yay, it's right down in there. It is everywhere, which it should be if it's a living, if it's a membrane. Look at it there. Right below the crosshairs. Right down below the crosshairs, even. There, now you can see it. Look to the left of the crosshairs, and look at it just bubbling out of there. Let's look to the right, see if I can get the focus to the right of the crosshairs. Yeah, look at it down here in the bottom. It is every whoa, man, it's just lotus into something. I'm really jacked up, man, because it's on a scale that's off the charts, which it should be. I mean, it's just reacting everywhere. Look at that. It's living, it was living tissue, and catalase is, is, is uh, it's not living, you understand what I'm saying? It's an enzyme. So this is reacting to the hydrogen peroxide and gassing off the oxygen. Or is it the hydrogen? Man, look over here. Okay, I gotta put some more on here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Exciting. This this can't happen if, with sandstone, folks. Okay, it's Im absolutely impossible. Okay, impossible. I'm gonna go to a whole new spot this time.
I got, should wait for it to soak in just a little bit because I don't have to. Look at all the sparkling. Look at that! Wow! Look at that reaction! Look at that! Off the charts! I mean, it's almost foaming. I mean, it's so... Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I mean, we got a rave. Everybody's all excited here, man. They're excited. I'm excited. Everybody's excited. It's a good thing to be excited when you find out the truth. Look at that. It's just bubbling. It foam, almost foaming. Okay, let me find another spot here. Talk to me, baby. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, I can already see sparklies. Wow, look at that. You got some stuff there in the crosshairs that's floating on top. But that other stuff, that is catalase reaction to the hydrogen peroxide. And I mean, it's just boiling off. Look at that. I mean, it's boiling so much, it's boiling stuff away from it. It's loosening it up. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Holy cow. Woo! Hold on here. I got to take a break. I'm all excited. Okay. So, I'm going to try to stand this thing on end and do the end of it now. I've done them here, and I've done other... I mean, I'm pretty excited. So, i got to try to get this to stand up. So, hold on here. Okay, that ain't working too good because i got to prop it up against something so it's kind of pointy. So, I had to put the hydrogen peroxide. You can see the wet spot there. Right here. So, I'm going to look underneath there now. So, hold on. Let's get this up here. Back up here. All right, now let's have a gander. It's going to be a little bit harder here because i got to hold it up. But well, Oh, yeah. All over the place again. Can we get another spot over here? I mean, there, I can't, there's no place I can't go to find it. I mean, it's all over down here in the bottom, below the crosshairs. Look at it boiling here. Here. Um, let me try a spot over here. I mean, the, the hydrogen peroxide ran off, and it's still foaming. Let me put some more on. Okay. Last time I might have waited too long to get back to it. Alright, here we go. This will be the last of it, and then I'll close this video up, because we've seen, this is my third time doing this. I've got so much video, it's not even funny. And look at that. See all these bubbles in here that's just going that direction, in here? Everywhere, I mean... Look right in here. Try to get it more adjusted. See it in there? Upper right hand corner, right over here. Wow. I mean, it is a, there's no place you can't go and find it. Look at it there. What we got here? My hand's getting tired trying to hold this in place. Look at it. it looks like little, little twinkling stars everywhere.
Okay, hold on one more time. All right, I put some more on it. Wow, we look at it over here and this down here foaming. Look at that right in the crosshairs. Ah, hard to hold steady. I mean, there's no place I can't not find it. She's dried up. Okay, I think you get the idea. All right. Hold on here. So, this here sandstone... <laughs> That came from that right there is loaded with catalase which is impossible unless it's tissue biological tissue so that's what that once was because catalase is an enzyme that's not living so it would still be in it all right have a great day the evidence is irrefutable 100 percent period end of story so have a blessed day bye bye now